Johnny Rock Show. Rockin' 101, The Rock Station. 902, The Johnny Rock Show. Pink Floyd off The Wall. I swear to God, I think I listen to The Wall every day for after school for like two years straight. But we're not here to talk about my Pink Floyd past. We're here with Andy Jackson, engineer and producer for Pink Floyd, among others. Calling from, uh, you're calling from just outside of London, huh, Andy? That's right. Hi there. Hi there. What time is it in uh, in London? Uh, three in the afternoon. Uh, well, okay. Cloudy and grey. <laughs> well, well. As always. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> we know it was raining yesterday because I saw the... Uh, yeah. The co- uh, was it yes? It what? No, it was was it sat? It was Saturday. No, Saturday. Saturday. Oh, it's all a blur. Yeah. You, I, I take it your invitation got lost in the mail. Oh uh, no, I don't quite know what happened. Yeah, very strange. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. Yeah, the new album, the solo project, twelve half steps, twelve half steps on sale May twenty six on CD and Blu ray. Pre-order now at cherryred.co.uk. Twelve half steps. Easy for you to say. Why, uh, I, I think I know the answer, because you can, but why do a solo record when you've, you know, produced Pink Floyd? Well, Alan Parsons did it, I guess, right? How about you? Well, we are, it's, it's a completely different thing, really, making your own music. I mean, as it happens... The opportunities there because it's all, it's all a bit quiet in Pink Floyd world at the moment, and uh, something caught my attention that I thought, oh, that's a really really interesting project to do, um, and I'm never happier than when I've got something to tinker with. So it's you know it's great. It sets me off on on something, and I can spend a really happy afternoon and evening <laughs> staring at a computer nice. <laughs> playing a bit of music. Oh man, so. You're a young man. You get a phone call, and uh, not really. Well, at the time, and they <laughs> and they say, "Hey, uh, what are you doing next week? Would you like to produce and engineer Pink Floyd?" I mean, how does that happen? Well, I mean, it was through a connection, really. James Guthrie, who uh, had done the Wall album as an engineer, co-producer, um, and I worked with James before that. We we were in the same studio together, um, and he needed other people to come in to help when we was when we were doing the wall movie. And so he recruited me in and that led to you know, that just led to a relationship with the band and it's continued ever since then really. So it was just it was in some ways it was a piece of luck to get there in the first place. But then you know, obviously the fact that they want you to come back tells you that they like what you do. So yeah, it's just about it was just fort- good fortune really. Nice. Well, you know, back in my back in the day the producer of an album, they were almost as famous sometimes as the band themselves, like Roy Thomas Baker or Ted Templeman with all the Van Halen records. Is, yeah. is, it, is it still like that, or do you find that it's, uh, with streaming, it's not as, you know, front and center? I, I don't know, really. I mean, to be honest, there's an extent to which I personally find it much healthier not to look at it all. You know, I, I enjoy doing the projects and I enjoy the sense of personal achievement I get in them and and then I put it away. Um, and I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not even interested in reading the press reviews and things like that because <sighs> the thing about reviews is <laughs> either, either you get a good one in which case you inflate your ego or you get a bad one and, it, and you hate it. And it's just like neither of those are particularly good things really. So um, I I really can't answer the question because I, I have a very s- strong policy of not looking. It's just better for me. There you go. Well, we're talking with Andy Jackson, Pink Floyd's engineer and producer in the new solo album, 12 Half Steps on sale. May 26th, CD and Blu-ray. Pre-order now at cherryred.co.uk. So back to the coronation. Did you watch it on TV or were you in the crowd or did you yeah. have no interest? Yes. No, no, I wasn't in the crowd. No, I, I did watch some of it on TV. Um, I, I don't know if you would have seen this. Nick Cave was invited 
as an official Australian, um, and a lot of people said, why are you going? I don't understand it, you know, thinking that he should be against it. And I think he gave a really interesting answer, which he said, I'm not a monarchist, but nor am I Republican. But nor am I so uncurious that I wouldn't watch or want to be part of this extraordinary weird event. And I think it was just from that point of view, it's the same with Queen Elizabeth's funeral. It's just like, this, you know, this has never happened in our lifetimes, and it would be bizarre to ignore it when it's such strange thing and with traditions that go back a thousand years that nobody understands. And it's just, how can that not be interesting? Even if you, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have an opinion one way or the other about monarchy, but how can that not be interesting? So yeah, I watched it. Of course, you watch it. You know, it's like why are you not going to watch it? Right. Well, I love the fact that they said uh, uh, they were going to tone it down this time. Well, if that's toned down, <laughs> good Lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Well, this, this is what I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah, traditions that go back a thousand years that nobody understands. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I guess I think that was toned down, yeah. All right. Well, listen, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Andy Jackson, Pink Floyd, engineer and producer, the new solo album, 12 Half Steps. On sale May 26th, CD and Blu-ray. Pre-order now at cherryred.co.uk. I'm going to go home after the show and uh, put on some Pink Floyd and just trip out thinking about you, Andy. No, but uh, thanks for coming on. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Thank My you. Pleasure. Cheerio. The Johnny Rock Show on The Rock Station. Rockin' what?